Hey everybody and welcome back. So today I wanted to do the fall favorite tag only because I feel like fall's gonna be over soon so why not give it a little bit of love before the winter sets in and hopefully the cold. Like bitter, bitter cold because I can handle that so much better. Literally I'm so glad it's not hot right now because I'd be dying in this fluffy sweater. Fluffy sweater that is obviously not appropriate for the hundred and like five that it was yesterday here in California. That was insane. So, you know, I'm going to take my time and try and do this and not melt. So here we go. So the first is the favorite candle. Okay, this is hard because I always go to Bath and Body Works when they start having new candles to smell. I've smelled like all of them, all the pumpkin related ones and sweater weather and leaves and I mean like nothing's wrong with them. It's just I'm so picky about scents. It has to be like... It has to be upon first smell that I like it or I won't buy it. And a lot of the pumpkin ones, there's like, there's a little bit over sweet for me and I can't do like overly sweet scent. So I've been on the search still. Um, there's one I just smelled yesterday. Um, I didn't pick it up for whatever reason. I'll probably get that soon, but it's like a winter candle. And I'm going to mention one that I have that's more of like a winter candle. So I guess that's kind of cheating, but it's like fall, winter. I feel like they can go together. The one I was talking about is like <clears throat> Snowflake something. They re You know how like they rename them every year? It's like, it's a blue candle this year and it's called like Snowman Snowflake or something. Good gracious, that's obviously a tongue twister for me. But this one that I got last year is the Tis the Season and it has like the little snowman on it. But this one says celebrate the perfect winter holiday with the timeless scent of bright red apples, cinnamon cloves, and deep green pine notes. Um, this is great because... I feel like this is something you light in your house when you're like decorating for the holidays or you're baking. It just fills it with this like beautifully sweet slash seasonal scent and it's great. Like it's not too overpowering with the cloves and the cinnamon. Otherwise I would have bought it. But I'm obsessed with like scents of apple and since this has it in there it's just it's a really nice candle. And then the next one is let's see. Favorite lip color. I narrowed this one down to two. Reds are obviously great, but I mean, um, as far as something I really, really like, like to incorporate pretty often, I have two. So it's Sepia from Anastasia because it's just like that perfect, this is kind of like my definition of a great fall nude color that you can wear year round but it's just like it's like nude but better at least in my opinion because it has the undertones of the purples and the grays and beiges all in there so I feel like it incorporates a lot of different tones and it goes with so many different looks so sepia definitely is a must and then obviously it has to be something berry related because I've always loved berry lipsticks and this one mind you I didn't intend for these to be both from the same brand I just picked them up because they are the tones that I like and this is craft from Anastasia as well so it's just that really pretty berry color. I want to mention this just because like in case you couldn't find one. Um, a good lip liner that goes with Kraft is Nightingale from MAC. They're like dead on. I feel like that's a, that's a fun fact just in case you ever wanted to find a good lipstick for Kraft. It's a, that beautiful berry color. Obviously you can, I like creamy mattes, liquid lipsticks. I'm just not into sheer colors but those are both that are just very pigmented. And next one is favorite drink. Okay, I will, I guess since this is a seasonal drink, I have to mention this as being my favorite. Um, normally, I don't like the Starbucks seasonal drinks. I know that's like outlandish, like who am I? I'm not a fan of the pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. I feel like it's too chemically almost but I just feel like that's just my taste palette obviously because so many people love that drink but I've just never found one of their seasonal drinks I actually enjoyed until this year when they came out with the toasted graham latte I just had it iced yesterday I'd had it hot before I do think that they're both equally good I can honestly say that which is kind of hard it kind of just depends if you're a hot kind of coffee girl or guy or you're a cold coffee drinker you know um but they're both equally good so I would say because like sometimes you taste it and like one is obviously better hot and the other one's cold but that one's spot on good in the middle so that is exciting I've tried like 
pumpkin drinks from other companies. Um, they've been a, bit, a little bit more like natural tasting or they're just not so overpowering. But I love pumpkin other stuff. Like dude, okay. I have to mention this. I don't think that it doesn't ask you for your like fall favorite food. But I'm going to put this in there. Pumpkin Pazuki. If you have a BJ's anywhere within driving distance of you, whether it's like two hours, go and get a pumpkin Pazuki from BJ's. Oh my gosh. It is the most amazing balance of like the pumpkiny spice and like slightly sweetness of the cookie. Oh, I literally, we got one for the first time last night because I was like, I feel like it's time for pumpkin Pazuki to come back. And we Googled it and I looked at their Twitter feed and I was like, yes. So we went and we got on and I was so excited. Um, get a pumpkin bazooki. That is by far my favorite fall goodie. And I have to throw that in there because I'm a big foodie and I love desserts. And the next one is favorite blush. <clears throat> Mind you, a lot of the blush tones that are people's like favorite during the fall have a lot of like burgundy-ish undertones in them or, or like reddish. I can't do those so much because I have like the hyperpigmentation and my skin being so fair, it I feel like it accentuates it a little bit. It makes it look I have like skin discoloration on top of my foundation, which is obviously foundation is there to like cover that. So I don't tend to go for those. So I, if this is not like the typical like fall blush, but I really like the, it's the, I believe it's luminous. Yeah, it's the luminous flush from hourglass it's the pink one in the palette like if so you can obviously get this by itself it's just because I have the palette I don't need to buy it by itself right now but it's the more pinky toned one out of the three this one I like because since it has the mixture of the like the luminous lighting powder mixed in with the blush shade it tones it down for me and it makes it more wearable but that's just the shade right there so it has a little bit of that raspberry in it but it's just it's a lot more wearable on my skin tone so if you have more fair skin tones i mean obviously this probably look great on everybody but if you have more fair skin tones and you have that same problem this is great um for that and it's just very subtly pigmented and just kind of gives you like more of a glow and i like that and let's see what's next on the list. Um, favorite clothing item. That is definitely boots for sure. I love just like booties. <sighs> I'm really picky. My feet are just like ridiculous. I blister so easily. It's not even funny. I wore some Vans and I blistered the other day. So I was just like, it's, it's frustrating. So I can't wear like too many stiletto-y type boots but I feel like boots are a little bit easier for me to wear if they have a skinny heel like I can't do heels I heels very often if ever for that reason but <clears throat> boots are my go-to and these were my favorite boots of all time last year I feel like they're gonna be that again this year they're from Sam and Libby I got them at Target last year which is crazy because these are really good quality like Sam and Libby is like a designer they collaborated with they do have more out this year i haven't completely looked but they have really good quality shoes i mean definitely don't be fooled by the fact that it's at target at all very high quality i wore these like i feel like once or twice every single week last year and boots are what i live in like throughout the year until it's cold enough i will live in flip-flops every day of my life and when i'm at home i have to be barefoot like i like naked feet i just can't handle being claustrophobic on my toes it's just it's not for me so boots are what I wear when it's too cold to wear flip-flops and I'm obsessed with them and there's already a couple that I've been eyeing at the store that I want to go and pick up. So I would definitely be doing another fall shoe haul this year because it was a good one last year. And then what's next? Favorite fall movie. Oh my gosh, every year never fails. And what I love about this is you can watch it from October to December, the end of the year. It is The Nightmare Before Christmas. This is my probably one of my top three maybe favorite movies of all times. I get so obsessed to watch this every year. I have to. There's no question about it. I have to watch it multiple times because it incorporates Halloween and Christmas. And I am obsessed with Jack Skellington and Sally and just that whole vibe. Like I love the Tim Burton claymation movies. I can't even. Um, like the whole style. I really like it. The style of like Corpse Bride and Coraline. I don't know. That sounds. I don't like scary movies in real life with real people, but I like that kind of like weird, slightly darker-esque um, claymation movies. Those are just my favorite and I'm so obsessed with them every year. And 
I think I might be doing a Nightmare Before Cream Nightmare Before Christmas themed Halloween tutorial this year, so I'm really excited for that. And then I feel like we're coming to the end here because I've been blabbing this whole time. And the favorite fall TV show. I think that that would... I haven't had like an obsession with a show. I mean, I really enjoy like shows that aren't just in the fall. So I can't really like say that that counts. But if I were to have to choose one, I really enjoy The Flash. I love superhero type stuff. Like whenever they come out with new Spider-Man or Superman or like movies like that, I'm obsessed and I have to go see them. So I really like The Flash on the CW. It's really good. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it's really nice. Like, like I don't want to say simple, but it's just so like drama free TV and I love it's really good so the flash would probably have to be my favorite and then next is favorite Thanksgiving food okay this is the weirdest thing because I nobody ever mentions this and if you're one of those people that actually is right there with me I'm like you we like we could be like this it is green bean casserole and I know that sounds so weird but I make green 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 today I can't talk I make green bean casserole every year like for like when the family gets together that is what I bring. And I don't like green bean casserole with fresh green beans. That might sound weird as well, but I can't stand it. I feel like the consistency is different and I just, I just can't. So I use the canned green beans, like the ones that are like cut in half. Oh my gosh. I could literally sit with a plate full of green bean casserole, maybe like a roll, some salad, maybe some mashed potatoes and be completely content. All the stuff that most people love about Thanksgiving food, I don't. What does that but, I mean, more green bean casserole for me. And last one is fall favorite Halloween costume. Um, I'll have to say I was a butterfly one year. And that sounds like kind of like basic whatever. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to try and find a picture of it and link it. Or not link it, but like put it in here. If I can't, I'm sorry, I apologize in advance. But, um... I was a butterfly and it was the first year I actually like painted my face like did something that took me a long time to do and I painted my face like a butterfly and it looked really good and I was really surprised because like I'm a creative person I'm just not artistic so I don't have like the ability to like translate like ideas up here onto paper sometimes and so I was really excited with that so definitely my butterfly costume and I had some glitter shoes so that was fun. Um, so yeah, that was actually kind of fun. It's kind of like story time, like within each of these little like categories, but those are all of my fall favorites. So I hope you enjoyed and like write down below what are some of your favorites because that's always exciting because I feel like holiday time is like the time that I try to feel like the most alive and I want to share and see what other people love and their favorite things about the holiday because I feel like that's so exciting. So thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you very soon for my next video.